Hey, welcome to another episode of Crankshaft Online. Today, it's a quick tech tip to save you a couple bucks. If you have an SR20 with a broken cam sensor, like the one on the right here, say it's smashed from an imported motor, a car accident, you just have a bad sensor, the disc is broken, I don't know, a drift accident, whatever. As long as the shaft is still good, you have a cheap option here to replace it. The sensor here on the left is from an 04 Suzuki Aereo. There's probably a number of other Suzukis with this motor in it. Uh, I'll do a close up on the part number. But uh, if you have one of these, they actually are quite identical and you can swap both the trigger disc, the cap, and the sensor itself to repair your broken SR sensor. So let's dig in here and uh, start by removing the screws. Okay, you can see I've removed the top screw, top washer, bottom washer, and sensor disc from the broken SR cans. I've also loosened all of the bolts on the Suzuki cans by cracking them with pliers and a screwdriver. And now we will dismantle and swap to the SR sensor. Okay, you can see the Suzuki disc sitting on the old SR20 cast here. I'm just going to throw in the bolts. Got these guys. One, two, three. And then the little uh, washer support thing that the disc sits on. Drop that baby in there. And okay, now I'm gonna tighten those up and then slip the new disc in. So, or the old uh, Suzuki disc in and then we'll put the bolt and washer on top. Just a quick uh, a bonus here you can see that these are in fact actually the same sensor they have the same part number of RSB 14 on either sensor so your Suzuki sensor is a direct replacement to the original uh, SR20 and that's because this is actually a fairly generic part made by Hitachi for a number of their sensors and uh, it just works out that these two are the same and there's actually quite a few Suzuki's in the yard where you will not find any turbo SRs. So, cool bonus. In addition, what makes this swap so awesome is that because the Suzuki is also a coil on plug motor, it has the correct sensor pattern for an SR20. If this was say for a KA sensor, the inner pattern there with the three that you can see the big, small, and bigger uh, notches would actually all be the same size and then, except for one and that's because that's to just trigger the distributor as opposed to the individual coils. Okay, and we've now got the washer and bolt tightened up and we're ready for the cap. And sweet bonus, although it doesn't fit perfectly you can, in fact, use the Suzuki cap. It's not perfect, but, I mean, it's basically free with the sensor, so it avoids you buying a specialty uh, replacement for an SR. And, I mean, that's good enough for me. And there she is, all tightened up with the cap on. And, so. Supposing your Suzuki cast hasn't been soaking in oil, that gasket will probably not be so stretchy and expanded. It should actually fit properly, but the only one in the yard was a nice oil leaker, and that seal has swelled. So, it's a bit weird, but enjoy your super cheap uh, SR sensor fix. This sensor cost me 15 bucks from my local pickle pull-apart, and... I couldn't find a single unbroken SR20 cast for less than 150 US plus shipping. So 15 bucks Canadian and I'm all set. 
I hope you enjoyed this tech tip and uh, keep coming back. I hope to have more. Thanks for watching, and if you could like and subscribe and visit my website, that would be great. Uh, also, follow me on Instagram at Craig Chef Online. Thanks again.